And welcome everyone to Sanctuary Online on this May 18th, gorgeous Tuesday up in the Midwest. So um, we're, we're calling it in. This weather looks like this gorgeous painting behind me of a, of a river that um, I'm not close enough to. So tonight is our second installment of um, Meet the Artist at Sanctuary Online. And we're incredibly blessed to have Jason with us tonight. And I'm gonna stop with my introduction right there because Kim will introduce him in just a minute. What I'd like to do though is for many of you who are have not been with us before is we like to start out by just kind of welcoming everyone. Hold on here. And what I do is I offer up a quick slide that says, hello and Asked if you um, want to make sure you enable your video. One of the things at Sanctuary Online, we are an extension of our nonprofit retreat site that we're building just east of Austin, Texas, called Sanctuary in the Woods. And as you can imagine, we're busy building our dream retreat center when a little over a year ago, the world kind of changed. And um, suddenly, we didn't stop building Sanctuary. We are continuing to build Sanctuary. We have been continuing to build her. But we also, added a Tuesday night and we called ourselves Sanctuary Online. So tonight is our 53rd or 54th episode since that occurred. And we have built so much community by just like tonight, Jason, so many of your friends and family are here. Maybe they haven't met Sanctuary Online and they are always welcome to come back. We're here every Tuesday. And our folks are now gonna introduce and meet you and get used to and get, get introduced to your amazing painting. So it's a wonderful way to kind of cross pollinate our communities. And so if you can go ahead and um, keep yourselves on gallery view rather than speaker view so everybody can see each other. Also, if you wouldn't mind, um, we'd love it if you'd open up your chat box and type in your first and last name, your email address, maybe where you're calling in from and how you're connected with us at Sanctuary Online. Um, if you'd like also, we have a text feature that people are really enjoying. Every Tuesday afternoon, Sanctuary sends a little tiny text out to you, one, reminding you it's Tuesday, because it still is a COVID world. And also, um, it tells you what's going on tonight. If you give us your email address, we'll send you an email, just one a week, we don't spam you, but it tells you what happened last week, what's happening um, next week in Sanctuary. And get cozy. Um, and so, if you'd like to mute yourselves, you can do that also. Anyway, a great way to... Um, to enjoy ourselves tonight. Um, Want to quickly say what's happened so far. Bud um, is on here. We interviewed Bud um, on May 4th, a couple weeks ago. It was a fabulous night, Bud. You showed so many of us how to either repair, replace, and create some gorgeous landscaping for our homes, since many of us are spending a lot of time at our homes. Cheryl, we're going to thank you in just a minute for inter um, interviewing Granny Bell uh, last week for Mother's Day. We had so many folks send in pictures and share stories of their moms. It was just a really wonderful night. Tonight, of course, we're meeting the artists with Jason's work. And then next week is our May book conversation, The Four Winds by Kristen Hanna. I know many of you have that finished. It's also, I've heard a good enough book. You can read it in a week if you focus. So uh, pick that up and join us next Tuesday night. Cheryl has a... Um, it's a following, Cheryl, or is it like a, I don't know what you call it. You've got like the fan club or whatever that has a wonderful evening once a month for our book club conversations. People just like to read. <laughs> <laughs> that is only your story, my friend. Um, now, a, a little bit of good news and some bad news um, and some interesting news. In June and July and August, we have decided to put Sanctuary Online online twice a month instead of our every Tuesday. Um, and I'll tell you why in just a moment. So what's interesting is we're gonna do a meet the artist every every month, we have a new artist and we're really excited to share. Shelly King will be with us, an amazing vocalist um, and a friend of Sanctuary, she'll be with us in June. We have a great artist almost teed up for July. And then the other week, we're gonna absolutely continue the, the book conversation because people um, in Cheryl's words, just like to read and so it's a, a wonderful kind of summer level programming nice programming for us i will tell you because of the success of our clm pilot which we did a few weeks ago um every week that you're not with us 
there will be a, um, a design group working and building and putting together CLM, the rest of the curriculum, so that we can try and put that up all online this fall or this winter. So really excited about that. And um, last slide, once again, Cheryl, you did an amazing job last week um, interviewing my mother. And I wanted to put up one of my favorite pictures of you and your mother, just to say thank you so much. This was a amazing vacation up to our cottage in um, Salo Beach, Ontario, that we were, your mom was able to join us. And it was uh, just, that is one of my favorite pictures of all pictures ever taken anywhere in the world. So thanks, honey. It was a wonderful night. We really appreciate that. <clears throat> and finally, headphones up. If you have a set of headphones, you may um, enjoy the videos a little better, but either way, I think we're all set. Okay. So I am going to shift, jump right in. Hello to all of you who've joined us since I last saw you a minute ago there. Good to see you. I think if you throw yourselves on, um, on mute for a while, what we'll do is we're going to show a video, then show a couple of the paintings that Ken and Jason are talking about in that video. And then I will um, open for questions. So if there's three little segments, if you have a question, you can either put it up into the chat um, or you can do that, that funny thing and raise your hand when I say, anybody have any questions for Jason, okay? So it'll go video, paintings, questions for Jason, and then video, paintings, questions for Jason, and then video, paintings, questions for Jason, and then we have a special ending. So goodness gracious, do not go to sleep early. You will not wanna miss the very last thing of the evening. Isn't that so rude? Sorry, it's how it works, okay? So stay on tuned. I am incredibly excited to introduce you um, to Ken interviewing Jason. And I will do that by sharing my screen. Gotta be careful here. <laughs> and gotta get this right. <laughs> That's better. Enjoy, my friend. Seven minutes. Welcome, everyone, to this second installment of Sanctuary Online's new feature that we're calling Meet the Artist. Uh, today, we are in Smithville, Texas. When I say we, uh, Barb Crabtree is with me. She's our videographer today. We are in the home and in the studio of Jason Hanish who is our featured artist today. Jason is a, a remarkable artist and his medium is oil painting, which as you may know, is one of the most difficult art forms to master uh, in the world. In the interest of uh, full disclosure, Jason and I have known each other for many years. Yeah. Jason was a member of MCC when I was the pastor uh, here and we've remained uh, friends throughout the years. And uh, thank you for spending this time with us today and welcoming us into your beautiful home and you. into your studio. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, so let's kind of start at the beginning. Um, I'm always really interested with artists about how you came to this particular form. How, how old were you when you realized that you had some talent and, and uh, how old were you when you actually began drawing or painting? Well, it's a funny story because I remember the exact Time. I was in kindergarten and the teacher asked us to draw something and don't laugh but I drew Puff the magic dragon and she loved it so much that she put it at the end of the year on display and I was hooked <laughs> <laughs> and so that was a drawing when did you actually start working with painter Oils? colors yeah uh, probably um, I was 16 I was 16 yeah okay and do uh, are you the only person in your family with this kind of gift, or are there other people? Um, my dad drew, and he did water, uh, watercolor or, and, or pastels, uh, very limited. Uh, he was just too busy to work with it. Um, my daughter's dabbled with it. My son is an artist, um, and so he, he does a kind of multimedia. Mm -hmm. But yeah, there's, there's other people. When we first came into your studio, you pointed out a couple of things to us, uh, which we're going to be able to show right. uh, on the screen right now, which is... 
uh, of painting that your father did. How old was he when he did it? He was in high school, probably 17 or 18. Okay, and it's a deer. It's two deers. Yes. It's in a snow scene. Yes. It's hung in my grandmother's house. Okay, uh, and uh, and right beside it in your studio here is <laughs> what? My first painting ever. It looks terrible, but it represents where I came from. So it was, yeah, it's my first painting. And uh, oddly enough, it's a picture of a deer in the snow. <laughs> and you didn't know that when I, you did it. I had no clue that dad had painted one before I, I wow. painted that one. So that was kind of funny. Uh, so how old were you when you painted I was 16, 16 at that, was, that time? That was, yeah. Okay. Did you study? No. Art? You've never is, studied? No. This I took a couple of lessons and the lady just kind of put me in the background because she wanted to teach me impressionism and I wanted realism. <laughs> so she didn't know what to do with me. She said, just do your thing. So that's what I did. And so uh, I just basically learned from watching people and listening. Well, that's, that's, Quite the, uh, amazing to have this kind of uh, technique that you have without ever having. Are there any major influences for you of other artists that you well, admire a lot? Well, growing up, I uh, was Winberg was wonderful, mm -hmm. um, but I love Soloria and you know Rembrandt. Some of the masters, the main masters, mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, I I noticed. I don't paint like them, but <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I've noticed that you uh, a lot of your paintings uh, are very architectural mm -hmm. and, and highly realistic. In fact, a couple of times you've posted things on Facebook and I thought they were photos. <laughs> well, thank you. You, <laughs> you know, until I, I realized that, that, yeah. they were, that they were paintings. I, I, I want my art to, to be more, not photorealistic, but realistic when someone sees it, they know exactly what it is and yeah. where, where my heart is or where, where I'm trying to, what I'm trying to say in the piece. So, yeah, it's more realistic. Uh, I can do the abstract, but I prefer this. Yeah. Without getting too detailed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I, I I don't appreciate modern art because I don't understand it. Okay. You know, yeah. uh, but but realism, you know, is is uh, uh, is is much more appealing to to me right. a, as well. And also color. I, I think people can probably see from what they're watching on, on screen right now the magnificent colors uh, that you. <laughs> You decide what you're going to to paint. Uh, it's a lot of things. Um, some of the paintings are memories, um, uh, pictures. Most of the pictures that I've painted of scenes or things around my house. Uh, that's a lot of things. Um, some of the paintings are memories, um, uh, pictures. Most of the pictures I've painted of scenes or things around my house, uh, on trips. Uh, memories from childhood, all kind of good things together. I've got several still <coughs> lives that I've put mm -hmm. objects of my mom or grandmother in that, you know, kind of add to it, to the painting. And like that vase there, my aunt gave my mom and dad for their wedding. And uh, just little, little special things that I, I know that's part of me, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I also noticed that a lot of your painting includes uh, fabric. Yeah, for some reason I just love it. <laughs> yeah. I've been painting fabric and drawing fabric since I was probably 12. So I, I just love, I love the feel of it. It just flows, it's nice. It's good. Yeah, it it's is. a challenge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, well, yeah, I, I can imagine that it would be because there's so much nuance, right. you know, uh, stuff that you have to come. Tell us about this painting behind you that you're working on now. Um, it's actually the river behind my house. It's about a mile away. Um, it's one Sunday morning, my sister and I uh, were going down to the river and um, the sun was setting and I jumped out, <laughs> out of the four-wheeler and took this picture and so that's what I'm trying to, to recreate is that moment that I remember uh, sitting on the riverbanks. That's, that's really beautiful. So, yeah. um, do you have favorite subjects? You mentioned fabric. Is there anything else that you particularly um, are drawn to? The next, next one. I'm, I'm terrified of landscapes because they're so difficult with the greens and different colors. I'm doing better, but I still have a ways to go. Um, just paintings, anything that kind of sparks my mind. I noticed that a lot of your canvases are large. Do you you, you enjoy painting larger I canvases? I do, I do. Um, it's easier to paint the smaller ones, you know, I can do yeah. that in four hours, you know, but um, the larger ones, people see, it, it's more of a representation of who you are. People seem to want a bigger, 
bigger picture hanging in the living room or dining yeah. room. They don't want just a little bitty one. You know, they may have it in a corridor or something, but something over a sofa would be this or over a bed. So I do like the larger ones, and they seem to be more um, more time spent. When I first started mm -hmm. painting, it was hard for me to go back to a painting. If I didn't finish a painting the first setting two or three hours, it never got done. I threw it oh, away. Oh. And I, after a whole year of painting online with a group of friends that I paint with, um, I developed the ability to go back and work on something and take mm. off. So okay. it, that's helped. So yeah. anything. You know, it's I, I think we're going to stop, pause for a few minutes, and, uh, and uh, Joe's going to help us uh, go to uh, our watchers and see if we have any questions or comments at this time. Thanks so much, Ken and Jason. And I'm hoping the technology is working. Uh, so what I'd love to do right now is before we go to questions is I wanna show you those pictures of those beautiful deer that Jason was speaking about. There we go, right? Isn't that wild? So I just, uh, exciting. So on the picture on the left, as you said, um, and again, please know that Ken and or Tom, sorry, Ken thought that we would possibly be able to show the PowerPoint while we were showing you the video. So when you hear him speaking, he's often assuming you could be have seen the the, the paintings while while we were showing you the video. That isn't able to happen, um, so we have to do a second best thing. But uh, fabulous paintings, um, first paintings, right, Jason, of your um, deer by your dad, and then the deer by you. So there we go. I'm going to go ahead and stop that share and ask if any of you have any questions right now uh, for Jason. I don't see any in the box, but if you just go ahead and either raise your hand or even unmute yourself, that would be perfect. Barb and Cheryl, you can help me out with this. Joe? Yeah. It's just me, Janice. I'm just wondering. wondering if Jason had ever tried any other mediums like watercolor, acrylic. No, Jason? I have not. No, I've been. No, I, I, I stuck to oil because I liked it. I, I, I think it'd be a challenge. I think at some point I probably would, but I, I'm still learning to do it this way. So until I get to a point where I feel very comfortable, switching would kind of mess with my mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Thank you. with oil and painting with watercolor it's backwards you know so <laughs> yeah actually um, thanks janice well, carolyn you got a question yeah well really a comment um i love the side by side of the two deer that your dad painted and the two deer supposedly that you painted but i could only recognize mm -hmm. one deer in your painting it, and I love the fact that it was not just sketched in black and white, but it was a brown deer when I saw something red behind it and it looked like it was a shadow of the deer under the deer. But I only saw one deer in my eyes understanding. Yes, yes. On mine, I didn't know my dad had painted a deer picture at all. And when my grandmother passed away, I was told that that was a painting that my dad did. And it just happened to be the only picture that I have of his that he painted. And then my first painting just happened to be a picture of a deer. So they, I just hang them side by side. <laughs> they have no correlation other than the fact that it just happened to be that they were in snow. <laughs> well, and no correlation except the amazing synchronicity that your father years before you and unknown to you, right? Painted the deer right. first and then you as well. Gorgeous. Exactly. Anybody, Anne, you got a question? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just want to comment. Uh, Jason, you do a lot of drawing too, don't you? Yes, I do. I do. Yeah, I do do a little pencil drawing. I do do that. Yeah. But Cause nothing, nothing colors. Yeah, because that's one of the things I've noticed in your paintings is that you have a very strong uh, uh, ability to draw, you know, and, that, and it's a foundation for the paintings. So it's one Thank of the you. things that makes your painting so good. As you, as you can tell, Anne is one of, the, one of the people that I paint with on weekends, and so is Paul. I think Josette was here and Brenda, I'm not sure. I don't know who all was here, but yeah, there are people I paint with on the weekends, so. Jason, what do you mean paint with on the weekends? Do you kind of throw Zoom up and uh, yes, all paint together? Yes, or, yeah? Yes, we do. <laughs> we start Zooming about what, 
uh, is it 11.30 my time? And we Zoom till we get tired or someone passes out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, I, that's fantastic, that's fantastic. Yeah. Hey, Joe? Okay. Yes, Ken? Hey, Joe? Sure. I, I just realized something, uh, Jason, which I didn't realize when I was with you or you know, owning your paintings or anything. You don't sign your paintings. Is there a reason for that? <laughs> uh, they're signed on the back. Lot, some of oh, them okay. are signed not because I haven't, I, I just finished it. But it depends on the picture. If it's gonna interfere with the look or the placing of it, I won't sign it. I think uh, on the blade of the sword, I signed it on the blade, so it's kind of obscured, so you don't, it's not in your face. I don't like you to see my signature. I think okay. it's got to be kind of hidden. But I do sign the back of it, so it's got my name on it somewhere. Okay, interesting. Uh, and you laid a hint down there in the blade of the sword, which we'll show later. I'm doing that all night long. I'll show that a little bit later. So it's, you're hinting and teasing in, Jason. Fabulous interview. Okay, my friends. I'm going to, oh, Gail, go ahead. You've got a question, then we're going to go to the second um, video. Go ahead, Gail. If you want to unmute yourself first, though, we'll be able to hear you much better. There you the go. Only thing, the only thing I wanted to ask is when you sign your painting on the back, do you also date it? Yes, I do. Good. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and tee up the second video. Oh, Jason, go ahead. I'm sorry. I would say I sign a date on either side, whichever, wherever my name is, the date is right underneath it. So, there yes, you go. I do. Fantastic. Okay, my friends, we're going to go into video number two. If I can do this properly. You know what? I want to make sure I had that teed up for sound just for you, just to be sure. And I did. Here we go. Okay, we're back with Jason. And uh, just as we were leaving the last time, you began to a little bit about your process um, and so if you would talk a little bit about that how uh, what inspired you do or do you paint at the same time every day are you that structured and disciplined or or how do you do that and uh, and how much time do you spend on paintings I'm, it, that's interesting okay well I don't have a structure most artists are kind of flaky anyway and so we just kind of go with the flow um, however, I have arranged my work schedule where I'm off on Tuesdays, so I paint Tuesdays all day, unless there's a family emergency or something. I'll paint Tuesday all day, Saturdays for a little while, and Sundays after noon or so, I'll paint all day. Uh, and then if I can, at night, at least an hour. Uh, if I find that if you come into the studio and you spend at least 10 minutes just picking up a brush, and you'll lose yourself in an hour mm -hmm. and you can get, you know, get a lot more done. And, and at that time, stop, go, you know, go do something else. But you, you know, you, you started studying and practicing on your, on your artwork. I, as a young, young person, I didn't go back to my paintings. If I didn't finish it, when I sat down and started painting, it was over with. I got tired of it, didn't want to mess with it. And um, over the past year, I have, disciplined myself and learned how to go back, let it dry, and then go back and, and rework the area if it needs to be changed and, uh, and you know, make it better. Because if you step away from it and come back, you can see what's wrong with it. You can see a place that needs to be worked on a little bit more or, oh, I liked how I did that. I, you know, I can do that over here and so forth. So it makes it a little easier. That's uh, the same kind of principle applies in writing about writing yes. and then rewriting. Exactly. You know, as a writer, I'll write something and then I come back two or three days later, <laughs> you know, and I'm able to see it totally differently. Exactly. So I can imagine visually. Yeah, even at, during the day when I'm painting, if, uh, I, I get agitated if I'm sitting too long because I don't like to sit still anyway. Right. I'll get nervous or kind of agitated. So I'll just get up and walk into the other room, grab a cup of coffee, walk around outside, visit with the chickens and come back in and then I'll, I'll be... It, it balances me a little bit and I'll go back to painting. But um, as far as time-wise, I, I, a painting-wise, small one I could paint probably in three to four hours. I've managed on a, on Saturday painting with a group, uh, finish one in, in six, seven hours. Mm -hmm. We paint all day. You just got lost in it and start painting and they talk and I just listen and, oh, yeah. and paint. So um, something like this, maybe three days. Right. And when I say three days, we're talking about 
five to six hours each day on, on something like yeah. this. Depends on how many time, how long I get to paint, you know, on a day like today, when you leave, I'll work on it a little while, you know, I may work on it for two hours, I may work on it 30 minutes, uh, but yeah, it yeah. depends on the time. That's going to be beautiful. I think so. Is that, are you doing that just for yourself? It is. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. In my life, everything's for sale for the right amount. <laughs> but yeah, this one is basically for me because it reminds me of my dad. Okay. My dad spent all his life on the river, yeah. down below here, fishing and hunting, and I did too when I was younger. Yeah. So uh, I can you know see where he ran trot lines and so oh, forth. Yeah. So it's it's part of my part of my life. So yeah. it's kind of like. It's my piece. This one's yeah. going to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know a couple of years ago you went to Italy mm -hmm. for a while, and um, those of us who who are friends with you on Facebook <laughs> get to see. Occasionally, you'll you know you'll right. you'll, you'll post a, a picture and some of the most beautiful work that you've done I've seen it was of that trip to Italy. Yes. Uh, would you talk about that a little bit? Did you go there just to uh, as an artist painter? Or how did that happen? Well, that's kind of a kind of an odd, odd question, not an odd question, but it's a long story, basically. I told my mom many years ago that I wanted to go to Venice and live for a year, or, or Italy, and live for a year and paint. And she just kind of, you know, wrote it off. So, yeah, Jason, that yeah, sounds good, maybe one day. And um, one day I was online video, uh, watching videos on how to paint, and I ran across Stefan Bauman, who actually was uh, coaching other people, and I watched his, his uh, segment, and at the end of it, he said, and we're going to Italy on, you know, September of 2019, and I went, ooh, that sounds good, I paint, why not, you know, so I, um, I thought about it for a couple of days, and I hew hawed around like most people do, and then, so I, I just text, on, text him and said, you know, that would be a chance of a lifetime. About a month later, he responded, well, why don't you join us? And from there, I went, why not? So I talked to my boss, and they said, yeah, we can let you off. He said, how long do you need? I said, three weeks. And she kind of looked at me kind of funny. <laughs> and I said, well, the first week, I want to go and paint with a group. And then the other time, I want to visit Italy because I probably will never get a chance to go back. I want to take as many pictures as I can so I can come back and paint. And that's what I've been doing is, is reliving that, that time painting. Um, when I was in Venice, I was very fortunate to ride the gondola in the picture that you see and um, it was on my 58th, birth, 50, 58th birthday that day and um, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to know that I was there. It was a wonderful great experience and I traveled it by myself the whole time, didn't know anybody, spoke to hardly anybody, uh, you know, I, it was a great experience. You, you can do anything you want to with God's help. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, I, I love the, the, the gondola picture, which uh, people are able to, to see on, on the screen right now. And also that magnificent picture that you did of a village up on the side of the hill. Tell, tell us about uh, that. Regimignano. That? that was a place I stayed in the Cinque Terras. Um, it was the third. Um, it's the first of like five five towns that are along that are on the coastline that, mm -hmm. that are like that. They're all like that from the from the water, and it was just beautiful. Um, I had been through all of Italy or most of Italy, and then I ended up there, and when I got out to, to the, the waterfront, I looked up and saw this picture, and I took that photograph, and I said, I, I have to paint this, and so I came back and painted it. But it was a great experience. I'd never been to um, an ocean that was so green. I, I grew up mm -hmm. in Texas. Yeah. You know, Texas, you can't compare the two. So it was a really great experience. It was wonderful. It was a beautiful place to be quiet. All, all the motions were filled, so it was good. Do you have... Um more uh, photos from that trip that you oh, I do. Paint? Yeah, yeah. There's a couple of them coming up. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I've loved every one of those that well, you thank posted. You. Yeah, I look forward yeah, to so. look forward to seeing some more of those. Yeah, those are wonderful. Good. I think we're going to pause again for a, a few minutes, Joe. If you would take over. I certainly will, Ken. <laughs> and then I will go. <laughs> this is just kind of funny because <laughs> you, you guys taped this so long ago. I feel like a real producer. And so let me send this out to our pictures that the painting, the pictures of the paintings that Ken and Jason were just speaking of. And I made this slide this way initially, kind of grouping them per video segment. But Jason, I thought these were so incredibly beautiful that I wanted to break them apart. And so they're a little bit larger for each of you. This was the village, and I'll let you pronounce it again, my friend. Ria Jam, I can't even do it now. I'm laughing. Uh, <laughs> Ria, uh, I can't 
can't do it now. Hillside Village, the Hillside we Village. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Hillside Village. Just, we use, <laughs> yeah, that works for me. <laughs> just, just was, beautiful. I'm just, go ahead. Rio Maggiore is what his name was. There you go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you. And then this next one was the gondola that you actually rode when you were there. Is that what you just shared? Yes, yes. That was the one that I, I was in. Yeah. On your 58th birthday. So that will be a memory forever, I bet. Yeah, it will be. Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. It was a Fabulous. great day. Thanks to my then, sister. Pardon? I said thanks to my sister. She talked me into doing it. Oh, <laughs> that's what sisters are for, right? There you go. Right. <laughs> and then uh, I believe this is the same that is my background tonight. We got to, to look through a good deal of your art and um, I just fell in love. Water is so healing to me. And it was great to hear your story tonight about this picture reminding you of your father. Yes, yeah, that, that was, I spent a lot of, lot of days down there actually, just to the left where those, that is jotting out there. Um, back when I was in high school, it was, I went, well actually it was probably junior high, Long story short, I went fishing with my grandfather for the last time and he died several weeks later. So it was really neat to, to know that he was actually part of that, that painting too, so. Absolutely, absolutely, thank you so much. And this is my time to ask for folks if you have any questions of Jason that you can jump in. And uh, I think we're raising our hand because folks are not feeling like typing in the chat box tonight, Jason. Any questions? Uh, Bill, go ahead. Uh, you are unmuted, or Blake, actually. It looks like it's Blake's hand, but Bill's head. There you go. <laughs> hey, Jason. Yes. I uh, have a question about, uh, uh, you know, wh what excites you about creating your canvases, and what is it that you put into those canvases uh, that you want to share with us, as far as uh, your emotions? It's, it's the light. I like I like play of light. Period. Um, I'm still learning how to do it. I'm not really good at it yet, but um, the composition and light. You know, it, it's it, to me a picture should speak to you, um, give you some kind of emotion, whether you like it or not. It, you know, it, it's it's supposed to speak to you. Period. So I hope that it's, I hope that helps. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Blake. Mm -hmm. um, Dell and Bud, you want to unmute and ask your question? Okay, I wasn't prepared for that. So I wondered, Jason, if you're going to have an art show once life is a little bit more normal. I would really like to see some of these works in live and in person. Yes, I do plan on uh, doing one as soon as I'm able to to do so. It would be great. Yeah, because they pictures do not show the justice in the paintings. They really don't, no matter how good the photograph is of the painting, it's walking into a room and seeing it actually, it's just totally different experience. Yeah. So I understand your concern. Yeah. Yes. We would. Yeah, so we would I plan to have one. Joby. I know what you're saying, Ken. I'm thinking the exact same thing. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's frozen. Can you all see Ken? Uh -oh. Then I'm going to invite you, yeah. Jason. We've lost, yeah. Where. I lost everybody there, but I just wanted everybody to know that Jason has agreed to do an art show here at Sanctuary. As soon as it is safe, we are going to sponsor uh, uh, an art show and everybody will be invited. Yes. I knew you were going there, Ken. I was going to say like, Jason, we have this little place. You might want to it's very centrally located and <laughs> wonderful. So thank you for that plant, Dell. I appreciate that. Um, uh, let's see, uh, Jonna has a question or you're just a comment there, Jonna, go ahead. You can unmute yourself. Or if she can't, um, Jonna said that your experiences really connect her to the paintings, Jason, awesome. and experience of the divine. So thank you so much for that comment, Jonna. And then yeah. Eric, you've, you've got a question for Jason. Go ahead, unmute and share. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, my aunt does watercolor and, and she oftentimes takes those and makes them in cards. Have you done that or have you thought about that? I have not. Um, I've not done watercolor. So I'm, you know, trying other mediums kind of scares me. It shouldn't, but 
uh, like well, not doing watercolor, but doing your the oils that you do into uh -huh. photographs or, or into a card, making it into the card. Oh, oh, to, oh, yeah. I have thought about it. I just haven't gotten to that point. You know, uh, oddly enough, I, I, I'm kind of humble. I don't think my art is that good enough yet, but I, I agree with you. I should be able to put them in smaller cards and sell them like Christmas cards or anniversary or birthday cards or just blank cards. You can write note cards or whatever. So eventually, I think I will do that. I'll add that to my website, so I'll be able to. You'll be able to pick whatever you want and and download and have them sent to you. So, yes. I see Carolyn was nodding. So there's more people that agree with that, Jay. So <laughs> you got a bunch of votes for that, yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. Okay. Well, it's the same to come then. <laughs> It's a great idea, Eric. Thank you. Brenda, you want to unmute and share your question with Jason? It's not a question. It's just a comment that uh, sure. I'm just going to remind Jason that he has painted uh, little pictures on Christmas balls, Christmas uh, tree oh, balls. Wonderful. Yeah, I have. Yes, Christmas ornaments. I have painted themes of Christmas ornaments. So yeah, maybe it'll be Christmas. <laughs> Jason, it sounds like we're going to need to hire you a marketing somebody and get a get some product out because again that's what Science Square Online is all about that's honestly what our Meet the Artist series is all about our last artist Edie Disler I know has gotten multiple commissions already from her time at Sanctuary Online folks it's just what we're doing we're trying to to share you with our community and our community with you so uh, I'm hearing some, yeah Carolyn I'm hearing some good connections right some symbiotic so yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I'm a, I appreciate any help I can get. <laughs> I'm, well, just, I'm new uh, at this, so. Absolutely. No, you, you got, you know, I always said you got to suck at something before you can get bad. You got to be bad before you can get competent, right? And then clearly you have <laughs> way beyond that because your paintings, your work is just incredibly beautiful. So if there are no more questions this time. I had a question. I had a question. Go ahead, Jane Ann. Come on in. Well, um, I, Jason, I just really appreciate that appreciate them. And I, I'm a card person and I go searching um, for artistry cards. And I, I actually put a lot of thought into them because I like writing cards to people. So I would highly encourage you <laughs> to come out from behind thinking you're not a good artist because you've got all this okay. support and just do it anyway. And okay. so if someone, for example, um, I had a painting commission from my dad's um, 80th birthday of him standing in the river uh, fly fishing and um and so now I want to have one done of my brother without him knowing and um interestingly enough the, the gentleman that painted uh the picture of my dad was a neighbor of theirs at their cottage area and everybody it was on an easel and everybody was walking that would come and visit them would go oh that's Jack Murray's in the river yeah he's up the stream and then he go, you can't say anything because it's a surprise for his part, his birthday. But everybody recognized the painting or recognized him and his plaid shirt and his hip waders and whatever. So I want to do one for my brother, but I can't do it in this area because everybody knows him in the river. Um, so if you sent, if someone sends you a picture and says, I want three feet by four feet or two feet by three feet. Is that something you would entertain? Absolutely, absolutely. Jane Ann, you're going yes, right into our third video. I couldn't have paid you for a better yeah. segue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> perfect. I'm out. Anyway, thank you for that yeah. because I literally just gave him a photo taken in 1978 and, and I forget what year it was now, but, and said, I want it to be three feet by two feet and, uh, I don't, I, and so when my dad passed away just in November, um, my brother scooped the painting because he really wanted it. But now I want to do my, have my brother, the picture of my brother. We will do post sanctuary online negotiation here this evening, Jason. I'm sure of it because there's a whole bunch of folks already signing up for your cards. If you want to see Jason at cards, give him a heart up on the thing, give him a party hat. Let's see. Jason, can you see it? Giving you some, uh, some I do <laughs> online love there okay my friend <laughs> just just print a couple of hundred of the the river the okay, boat and the village in Italy as a start and um let us pick 
Oh, there's like, more to take come. yourself out of it and and just print up a ton. And then when they're sold out, you can say the first printing sold out. Then you can choose what else you want to do. Here you go. Heart. Look at the hearts are coming, Jason. All right, my friends. Heart. Because that was a perfect segue, Jane Ann, I'm going to go to our third video. Once again, if you have your headsets, you might enjoy having them on with a little more sound. Here we go. Ken and Jason, take three. Okay, we are back with Jason, and um, we've been having some interesting conversation <laughs> in these uh, interludes as well. And one of the things that, that it's always interesting to talk to artists about is um, whether or not you conceive something before you create it or whether it reveals itself to you and and creates itself as you go along and you i think you have a very interesting uh take on that would you talk about that a little bit yeah um i my mind don't develop as they go i see it in my head the vision's there and i just plug on till i get to it now, it doesn't always happen that, you know, it's always an ugly stage where it looks terrible and <laughs> you sooner or later I either get to it or it goes to the, go to the side, side view like this one here does that I'll yeah. have to go back to later. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, I see it and I just, I, I've got to get it out of my head. And that's like the, the, some of the gondolas and stuff, it's been in my mind all, all along and it's like, I've got to paint to get it out of my head. Or it's going to drive me crazy. So I painted the gondola. And then the next one was Reggio Mignano. And I was like, do I need... I, it was so intense. It's like, I don't know, think I can do that one. And, and um, I just, one day I said, you've got to get it out of your head. So I just jumped in and started with the rocks. And I worked my way up. And it just flowed right out, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I have a fixed image in my mind. And it's it's usually the way I go. I have to, I paint what I see. Yeah. You know, I, I can't just sit to a blank canvas and paint. I've got to have something to paint with. That's really interesting to think about someone walking around with these images, you know, <laughs> it's, it's living, kind of odd, living, with, <laughs> living with these images. Well, I imagine that it, it, it makes life very interesting. Well, you know, you think it's funny because people will show me pictures of things that they're, they're painting or they're thinking about painting and said, well, this will make a perfect picture. Uh -huh. And I'll, crop, I'll send it back cropped, and they go, oh, yeah, that look, works perfect, because in my mind, I can see the picture that yeah. looks best in the way that they have it, whether it's, you know, landscape or portrait. And, it's just a gift that I've got. I, I can see the picture before it's finished, just getting to that point where it looks finished. I've, I've heard uh, dancers talk about, you the know, music co doing choreography in their heads before they ever move. Yes. Writers talking about characters living in their heads, right, right. you know, uh, and you live with visual images I do. Yeah. Of, of the things that are around you all the time. That's, that I yeah. would guess that that's quite a gift. Uh, one really important question is, have you ever had a show of your work in a, in a gallery? Yes, I did. Uh, actually, back in the early 90s, I worked downtown in Austin. And forgive me, I can't remember the name of the gallery. I was just there for two or three months, and they closed the gallery down. That was back in, I think it was eight, must have been 85 when the, the crash hit, and so everything started falling apart. But uh, I, had a, I had several pieces in the gallery. Uh, one of which is right above, right above this is where we walked in. Mm -hmm. um, it's uh, the Grand Canyon, oh. and it was it was in there. It was Southwest Magazine. It was coming to uh, uh, the Con Street Festival. Oh yes, and so they were getting ready for that, and then it all kind of fell through because of the the crash and everything at the time. But yeah, I was in there for about three or four months, and that was a great great experience. But I've come to realize that you don't really need to have a gallery. It's wonderful to have that experience and have something in the gallery. But um, especially nowadays with stuff online, it's yes. so much easier to share your work and, you know, it, I'd rather people see it and enjoy it than, you know, sitting in a, paying someone to <laughs> have it stored somewhere. So it's, it's, Where many fewer people are going to exactly, have access to exactly. it. Yeah. This is just, it's been an amazing experience just sitting here, well, you know, you. surrounded, yeah. you know, by, by all of this. And, and also having seen a lot of your art on, online, and you know, I've been a fan for a long time. Um, I, I know that there are people who are going to want to know how to get in touch with you yes. uh, because you do do commissions and I want to just share a personal uh, story. Um, uh, back in 1976, Tom and I had our our Holy Union service, our first commitment service in February and the next day we took off for Mexico uh, for about three weeks and one of the places we were there is this beautiful little mountain town called Tosco. And it, it is the <clears throat> home of a beautiful cathedral, <coughs> excuse me, called Santa Prisia. 
And so one day I was standing out on the balcony of our hotel and just took a picture of Santa Prisca in, in the distance. And that was almost 50 years ago. And so through the years, that painting faded and faded. And, and I was just I was just really grief-stricken to see it just kind of fading away. And so I want everybody to know that that last year, for Tom's and my 45th anniversary, uh, I sent that, that picture to Jason and just asked him, can you possibly paint this, even though it was really just... It just was faded. A, it was very faded. <laughs> but uh, being the artist that he is, he went online and researched Santa Prisca and the town of Tosco uh, and created. And you're gonna, you're you're watching on there. Our friends are watching online right, right now. Both that very faded picture and that beautiful painting right, that yeah. you did for us of it, which we we just simply uh, love. It's just one of our most treasured uh, uh, things. And so we're so appreciative to you for. Doing that well, I'm course. honored that you chose me to do it because it was it was definitely an experience. I learned so much about the town and how beautiful it was. So I can imagine, you know, the memory that you have of the town. It's, yeah, it's, and that, it's a that, area. now that that hangs in our dining room in a very special place and awesome. reminds that memories with us all the time. So thank you for that. So we want to we want to let people know how they can get in touch with you if they would like to to commission you to do something or just. To buy anything that they might have seen, right, yes. uh, you know, yeah. uh, uh, during this interview this uh, this evening. So, what are the best ways to get in touch with you? Uh, Facebook's always good. Um, you can do Facebook. I'm starting a new website that I'm hoping will be done by the weekend. Um, a lot of you are seeing me post through Instagram through that website, and that is Hanish H A N N U S C H Art A R T dot com. Uh, that's my website, and uh, from there, if you want to get with, in touch with me through uh, email, it's jason at honishart.com. Um, or Facebook, you know, most of you have my phone number, so you can call me. Okay, <laughs> uh, my phone number yeah. 512-304-5206. Okay, that's good. to my cell phone number. And we'll have all of that available, won't we, Barb, to all of our people. Well, this has been so much fun. It's awesome. Yeah. So, you. Thank you. It's good to see you too. You look great. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, we're going to go live, uh, back live now, so, so we can uh, talk to all of the people who are joining us this evening. And uh, Jason will be with us for, in the next few minutes as well. So thanks again for inviting him to your beautiful home and, and studio. Well, I'm happy to have you here. Thank Always you. welcome to come back. Thank you. And I'm on mute. Once again, we are live. I'm feeling kind of like a um, survivor, you know, as we head off the island and come back into uh, to the studio here in uh, Michigan and Texas and, and everywhere else. So anyway, um, let me let me show you those beautiful the picture and the painting that Ken and Jason were just speaking of. I will tell you, Jason, what a what a amazing night to get the story behind this this gorgeous painting i have walked past this a million times i've walked past it once haven't i and never knew the backstory there so wow gorgeous wow. Isn't that nice so jane ann how's that for an answer to your question you ask it we answer it that's how we roll at sanctuary online Right. So. I'm 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 choking up because I bought a guitar in Tasco, and um, ended up selling it for oh. thousands of dollars. Um, I just off a vendor. Oh, it's a long story, but anyway. Um, so I'm looking at the city, and I'm like, Terry, it's so. It just brought back huge memories. There are just so, no. Yeah. So thank you for that. That's great. Yeah. Of connection. Yeah. Oh my goodness. All right, so at this point again, any other, I will stop the screen share and if any of you have any questions for Jason, or I know that Ken and Jason have another portion that's live tonight. We've got a few more paintings to show you and some exciting information at the end. Any questions thus far for Jason? Or comments, we're taking comments as well. I was curious, the picture over uh, Ken's head, is that a self-portrait? Yes, it was the only one I've ever done. Oh. Back to my, my beard. <laughs> oh, well, the question, the job. picture over Ken's head. You know what, Eric? I'm gonna pin yeah. Jason. I'm gonna pin your um. There it is. So 
So I've made you very large, hopefully for folks right now. And you can see that. Yeah, I thought it was him. Yeah, it's me. There's a few of these again, not that I was creeping your Facebook page, Jason, but I might've been creeping your Facebook page. Um, and you can see more photos of Jason's art um, that way. As a matter of fact, um, Barb, Barb, raise your hand there. So all the folks that don't know you can see, you've got a painting that you actually, um, I'm just gonna say, it, you just totally stole it off Jason's website or Facebook page, right? Um, Texas sky, Barb behind you tonight. And we thought since Texas might get blown away in a tornado during the conversation tonight, we thought it was very apropos. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. It's still and, outside. Absolutely. I'm, I'm fixed. Oh, oh sorry. Ahead. I was fixed on the blue hair. I think it's a blue, blue heron up in the corner. And you've got a position beside the goldfish bowl. I thought that was really cool. Right. And you I know what together. you can do. If you, if you um, take your mouse and you hover over Jason's little block on your, on your screen and you see the three little dots up there, if you click on those dots, halfway down the, the drop-down message, you'll see something called pin. And if you click that, Jason will go very large. And so we can see what's behind you, Jason, what you're talking about. I can't fix that, somebody. <laughs> So can you show us that picture again? You said there's, oh, the blue heron, right? Up right, right above you. Absolutely. All right. Let me try, let me try this. If I can do it. Oh, I lost you. There you, you know, there you go. You're good, we can see you. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Ken, I'm going to toss it back. I know you and Jason have a little more to go, and we're about six minutes to the hour. So I'm going to toss it back to you for continuing the interview live in the studio. <laughs> yeah, I, I just wanted uh, people to get uh, a closer look at some more of Jason's work uh, real quickly, some of which we have uh, as backgrounds behind us tonight. Uh, but uh, if you, Joe, if you can show the flamenco dancer that is behind Cheryl this evening, uh, okay. this is such a beautiful painting, Jason. And uh, would you sort of tell us about it? What is what is uh, unique about this painting? Well, it was just basically the study of light, um, how how light hits and and illuminates fabric and and your your form basically, um, which is more of a study. It's more than anything else. It's just I have this passion for, for light and um, I saw this picture and it just had to be painted. So I did that, I think, one yeah, Sunday afternoon a... while we're all talking. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, your, your skill with light and your skill with fabric come together uh, in this painting. And I can tell people until you stand in front of this thing, you know, and see it in person, it's just, it's mesmerizing. It's, just, it's such a beautiful, uh, unique painting. And the second one I want you to take a look at, Joby, if you will put the, put the second one up. And, and then Jason, if you will tell us what is unique about this one. Uh, well, it's basically just two colors, um, uh, black and white and a little bit of brown. That's, that's basically it, but basically black and white is what I use to paint this particular picture. That's Again, it. it's fabric. Yeah, I, I, this, is, this is also just a beautiful painting when you're standing in front of it. And, and when Jason said there are only two colors there, you know, I, was, <laughs> I could hardly believe that, you know, that uh, you, could, you could create something that has so much depth in it, you know, just using two colors. I, I love that one. And then there's one more that I wanted you to see just because I think it's so uniquely uh, beautiful. It was hanging on the wall um, in there, and it's it's just the the hand and the side of the leg of a matador, and of course the matador's uh, uh, uniform costume. Uh, but the colors, those golds and yellows, um, you know, the photograph just does not do it justice. The color is just magnificent uh, in this painting. So thank you so much again, Jason, for being with us. And we do have a special announcement tonight. 
And it is that Jason has donated a painting uh, to Sanctuary in the Woods, which we are going to auction beginning tonight. Um, this is the painting. Um, do we have a larger it's about as big as I can get on a slide, that. Ken. I can. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wish people could see slide. see more. Yeah. Yeah. It, this is one of the paintings that Jason did when he was in um, in Venice. Just tell us for a second, Jason, uh, how this happened. Oh well, I just roaming Venice. I I had this thing about doors and the wire, and um, this just appeared out of out of the blue one day when I was walking at night and so I took a picture of this this doorway and uh, um, I thought it was kind of fascinating the storm is outside the lights on and no one's you know you can't go in the door because there is no knob to open the door but you know from the inside you know that you can open it to get out if you needed to so it is kind of interesting and the play of light I thought it was kind of interesting and uh, my love of Venice and Italy just you know, it was just one of those pictures that struck me as wonderful. So yeah, it, it's one of those. It, it was it's a, a really, I had it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful. Uh, the I size had to get out of is, your head. <laughs> yeah, I had to get out of my head. The size, I think, was uh, 36 by, oh, it's a big one. I can't it's remember. A, it's at your house. It's 24 so by 30. It's, okay, 20, 24 it's 24 by 30. And so it's, it's a rather large canvas uh, and it's really, really beautiful. Again, the colors and everything don't show up in a photo as, as much as when you're standing in front of it. It's just, it's vivid. And um, the, those, you can see the motion and the water and the light behind the windows. You know, there are people uh, in there, um, even during what was you're describing sort of like as a storm and the water moving and everything. It's, it's a really beautiful painting. And Jason has donated it to us. Uh, and we are going to auction it off. Uh, the auction begins tonight and it will last through June. And beginning tomorrow, you, you will be able to go to our website, sanctuaryinthewoods.com. You can see a picture of the full painting um, and there will be a place where you can enter a bid if you would like to do that. This painting, uh, this canvas is valued at between six and seven hundred dollars. Uh, our beginning bid is one hundred and twenty five dollars. Um, and so if you would like to bid on it, we encourage you to do that beginning tomorrow. It will be um, the, the picture of the painting will be available on our website and there will be a place there for you to enter a, a bid as well. So. Jason, once again, thank you so much um, for your uh, sharing your gift with us tonight. And um, I tell everybody again that uh, Jason has agreed to do uh, a show here at Sanctuary. We hope when the weather gets better and COVID totally goes away, uh, and we're going to have a beautiful art show right here at Sanctuary to which everyone will be invited in person and on Zoom uh, when, that, when that happens. So thanks again, Jason. Thank you. Love you. Yeah. Thanks for your friendship you, through Jason. the years. Thanks for sharing your gift with us. Back to you, Joe. Thanks so much, Ken. What a night. What a night. These are going to be, I'm so happy we're doing this series. So Jason, we're so just blessed by you sharing your work with us and your passion. Obviously, I think I'll go to bed tonight thinking it, it was in my head and it had to get out, right? It was something I had to paint. It was like a, in, in CLM, we talk about something that we can't not do right, as truly being our passion. And you obviously speak to that with your art. And uh, just so thank you, thankful for you sharing your conversation tonight. We have put in the chat room, my friends, if you open your chat, there is um, Jason's website. Um, right now, like I said, we're, we're working with our web designer tomorrow morning. So maybe lunchtime or so, we'll have the picture up on the website, which is um, sanctuaryinthewoods.com, oh, kind of easy to remember. And then if you'd like to bid on the painting, you can email that bid to our email, which is talk to us at sanctuaryinthewoods.com. All that will be really laid out clearly um, on the website. Also, if you've given us your email, um, we will send you an email later this week. Normally in the weekend, we send our midweek email and it will have a bit of conversation with Jason. It will also, for my friends of you that are Anne that are over with you, 
a little um, or a lot east of us, we're going to have the recording. Um, and what I'll do tonight is I'm going to send that link to that recording to Jason so you can wake up and your friends that are way east, um, Norway and such can have Jason and a cup of coffee in the morning or whatever, whatever beverage you choose in the morning. Um, also, Jason, you agreed to be, stick around for a couple minutes for questions. So as we say goodnight to most of you, as you sign off, if any of you would like to stick around and ask Jason a question, he's been uh, wonderfully generous with his time. And we often have a show after the show. So you can just unmute yourselves, we'll have a great time and chat with you, Jason. I will turn off the recording. So if those questions are, um, you know, just of the unrecordable type. It's so unmute and give them some love first. <laughs> yeah, how about you yeah. unmute yourselves? Amen. Yeah. Well yeah. done. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. work. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Good job. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>